Is Susan Lee a patient here? Susan? Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list. Uh, what was your name again? Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, you're not on the list. She'll be out in a week. You can visit her then. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you. You're not on the guest list. Oh, well, that's because... I gave you the wrong name. You did what? Yeah, gave the wrong name. Sorry, it's a character in a play I'm in. Ugh. That's the best you could come up with? Really? Well, what is your name? My name is Alex Davenport. Huh. Your name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. Thanks. Alexander? Um, no. I'm sorry. Where's Alexander? He's not here. They told me... they told me he was coming. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I... It's okay. He doesn't want to see me, anyway. Who are you? My name is Rosangela. I'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. But I'd still like to talk to you if that's okay. Mm-hmm. So, Susan, could you tell me what brought you here? I don't know. They think I'm crazy. Are you? Crazy, I mean. I don't know. They think so. Susan, can you listen to me? You're not crazy. I know what happened. You summoned the deacon with a Ouija board. No, that didn't really happen. Susan, you don't have to pretend. I believe you. You do? Whatever happened, I believe you. He still comes to me. The drugs keep him away during the day, but when I sleep, he enters my head and he won't stop screaming. I thought I was crazy, but Joanne and Allie, how could it happen to all three of us? It's impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. The deacon is real? I believe so, yes. Are you here to help me? I'm going to try. Thank God. I was ready to die here, but... I know. Can I ask you some questions about what happened? Sure. Ask whatever you want. Can you tell me about Allie? Allie. Oh, I miss her so much. The sweetest, funniest person in the world. You couldn't help but smile with her around. She was always dragging us out on some adventure. She was so... different. Every other girl had pictures of boys on their walls. She had pictures of dogs. She loved dogs. She was studying to be a vet to take care of them. And now she can't. She... she was the first of us to go. Why is that? How come the strongest of us was the first to break down? So what happened to you, Susan? What did the deacon do to you? The same thing he did to the others. Got into my head and just wouldn't keep quiet. It was just so noisy inside my head. I had to do something. I saw the speeding taxi, and I just... Well, you know, here I am. Were you hurt? No. The driver hit the brakes in time. Taxi missed me completely. Then the stupid cop on the corner dragged me here. I can't even kill myself right. I have to go now, Susan. But I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Look, Joey, it's starting to get dark. Yeah, I can see that. Was it the darkness that gave it away? I'm just saying. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. Sure thing, you're cleared. Go right in. Huh. 
Hi, Susan. Hi. It's good to see you again. How are you now, Susan? Better. It's nice to know I'm not crazy. Yeah, that's a good feeling. It's just... these drugs. The meds help keep the deacon's voice low, and that's good. But they also cause water retention, and I have to take a diuretic pill to fix that. And I'm just sick of peeing all the time. Now that I know I'm just haunted and not really crazy, I don't see why I have to take it. I don't care if I retain water and get fat. I just want to stop peeing. <laughs> Is she for real? I've been palming the pills. Is that bad? I can't answer that. Well, I was hoping you could do me a favor. What? Can you take the pills out of here? I'm scared the orderly will find them. Please? Fine, uh, give them to me. You are such a chump. Thanks so much. I have to go now, Susan, but I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Come in! Be nice, Moti. She's our neighbor. Come in! Are you alright, Rosa? You look a little preoccupied. I'm fine. That's odd. Moti never acts like that. Oh, jeez. In case you haven't noticed, some animals can sense me. Are you getting a good look, Mutt? Boo! What's gotten into you, Moti? I'm sorry, he must be sick or something. It's alright. Okay, I put the pills in the dog biscuit. Come on, boy. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. Oh, Moti, now? I just took you out an hour ago. Well, you're going to have to wait. I have my hands totally full. Unless... Rosa, would you mind taking Moti for a walk? If you're going to be friends, this is a good opportunity for you to bond. Oh, sure. I don't mind at all. Thank you so much. Moti gets cranky when he doesn't get his way. Just take him to the park until he goes. It shouldn't take long. Right. Here you go, boy. You're drugging innocent dogs now? It's only a mild diuretic. It won't hurt him. And you're the one in such a damn hurry. All right. Point taken. Hey there, bright eyes. It's me again. Are... are you him? No, I'm not, but I've brought some friends. Say hi to the kids, sweetheart. Um, hi. I don't, I don't think, think she, she wants to see me. Sure she does. Go on, kid. Tell Ellie how much you want to see her. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Great to meet you. See? I don't, I don't believe, believe you. you. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. She needs your help. Help? See the dog over there? The, the Boston, Boston Terrier? Good, good. You know your breeds. This Boston Terrier is not feeling too well. I was hoping that you could take a look at him. I... Yes. Yes, I can. I know a lot about dogs. So we heard. That's why we came to you. But they won't let me help them. They always run away. This one won't. Go on. The dog needs you. 
So this is your dog, huh? Um, yeah, sort of. Hi, little guy. What's your name? <laughs> right. Are you the cutest little thing? Hmm, your ears look okay. No signs of inflammation. Now I'm just going to open your mouth. That's... odd. I don't feel any breath. I don't feel anything. I... I'm sorry. I remember. I'm dead. Yep. I killed myself. I had no choice. Can you tell us what happened? My friends and I, we played a game. A Ouija board. We thought it would be fun. And you called something? Yes. He called himself the Deacon. It's kind of hazy now, but I remember his voice in my head. Screaming. What did he say? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. He just kept asking me to help him, but he wouldn't say how. I tried ignoring him, but he just got louder and louder until I took the pills and- Shh. It's over now. I know. So what now? Now? Now we're going to send you where you need to go. Here, take this, and hold on tight. You ready? I guess so. Good. Now pull. Yeah, you and me both. Ow. Hello? Yeah, hi! I'm not sure if we've met. I'm Rosangela. I know! You brought the dog to me! You brought me back to my senses. And then you brought me here. Thanks so much! So, are you ready to... well, you know. Am I ready to die? Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm kinda new at this. That's okay. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just tell me what to do. Just head towards that light. The light. Right. Like every cliche in the book. You think I'll see Joanne over there? Sure you will. Fantastic. And hey, you'll make sure Susan's okay, right? Sure. Well, here goes. See ya. See ya. Ugh. You're awake. That didn't take too long. She just... went. She seemed happy about it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get easy ones. The ones who are all too happy to move on. Others... well, you'll see. Anyway, let's get this dog back before your neighbor calls the police. Our work is not over yet.